bugger off. Get a hold of her. Please, help me. Anyone. Get the hands. I heard they can't do no spells without hands. You know nothing of magic. Exciting. That poor girl. Who do you suppose she was? We should see if there's anything here to identify her.
could barrack say you were a Grey Warden? I was. I met a Warden once, back in Ferelden. Duncan, I think his name was. Very odd man. He had a marvellous beard, though. I'd never seen one before. I thought a squirrel had grabbed him by the chin. Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap them in irons and let's see what the Tavinters will pay for them. I'd make a terrible slave. I talk too much. And I do that. Nobody threatens me on my ground. Shut this bitch up. where he shipped Fainreel. Looks like they took him to some bolt hole in the wounded coast. I wonder if that's near the injured cliffs, or the limping hills, massive head trauma bay. No? Just me? Oh, forget I said anything. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a 
monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend, to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is! You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. Don't make any hasty promises. Joke all you want, but you make Gamlin look like the toad he is. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother. For what she lost, I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's death. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place. All the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Roads expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Why did Mother and Father work so hard to keep you from the Circle? Would it have been so bad? I guess at first, I was just a little girl. They didn't want to lose me. And once I had learned anything, what would the Templars do to an active apostate, not just a mage blood child? It changed their lives, your life, Carver's, all because of who I am. Sometimes I wonder if it would have been so bad to be with my own kind, to serve the Chantry as Andraste demands. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who bought us all liege and silk dresses with lace petticoats? 
Father was a good man, but Mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. We're going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, sister. I'm so very tired of running. I think this is a picture of Mother. She looks like you. Where did you get that? Was it at the estate? Let me see. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. I suppose it would have been a bit awkward to take it with her. I know she loved Father. I guess I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage. I know that made it hard for Mother. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life, let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Carver. He was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. He was so young. Never got to be the man he wanted. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down at 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. At least you're past the it's-all-your-fault thing. I'm sorry, love. I was distraught. I never really believed that. It's just... I miss him. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartran's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Carver. But with luck, I could at least give us a home.
I'll let you sleep. So, a Lady Sunshine, what's your first act as a noblewoman going to be? <laughs> a noblewoman with no fortune and no title. Looking for work, probably. Practicality is for peasants, milady. You need to do something frivolous to celebrate your birthright. Such as? Come up to the high town market and complain bitterly that there's no Orlesian silk that matches your eyes. But what if something does match my eyes? What will I do then? Insist that they're blatantly copying you, and demand royalties. A good noble always has a complaint ready, Sunshine. What's the point?